There's so much development and so much movement on the mark of the beast system that's coming together for the new world order all around us that you could probably start a channel and just cover that one aspect of end times. And that in itself tells you how close we are to the very end and the beginning of that final week. And I'm constantly sharing these stories as they come out. But as I finish one and I think, cool, we're sorted for now. Within 24 hours, there's more stories on the same thing. That's why I say it is crazy how open and in your face and quickly these things are developing. And I've got two that I want to point out to you. One is the most recent and another one that came back to my attention from 2022, which ties in very importantly. And I want to make that connection for you today. Number one, the U.S. government is dramatically <clears throat> expanding the use of facial recognition technology. The General Services Administration will begin offering facial recognition technology as an option for users of login.gov, a one-stop government-provided public services to verify identity. GSA's Technology Transformation Services announced on Wednesday it will allow login.gov users to verify their identity online through facial technology that meets standards set by the National Institute of Standards and Technology Identity Assurance Level 2 guidelines. This is becoming a normal thing, not just in America, around the world. The whole AI recognizing your face and picking you out. We've spoken about the fact that China is using glasses that can ID the person and bring up all their information just by looking at them. So that's facial recognition and all the information tied to their identities, any documents, any outstanding arrests or anything else that's on their name, social credit scores, everything. The technology is there and it is working perfectly. And now we're seeing a rollout take place across first world countries everywhere. And people like Bill Gates working hard along with uh, his friends in the UK to push it into Africa and third world countries and make sure that we also have that technology rolled out because it's such an improvement for mankind. What it is, is a control mechanism, an absolute control mechanism that will eventually clamp down like the bear trap that it is and shut and you won't be able to buy or sell lest you have the mark of the beast the number of his name or his name and you declare worship to him and that's all in revelation 13 verse 16 to 17 and we keep coming back to that because we see the connections because the word of god is inspired and powerful and speaks of things that have not happened yet that will happen and here we are blessed and privileged to see these prophecies come to life in front of our eyes and by knowing and seeing and understanding because of the Holy Spirit, we can warn and share with those around us what is coming. We can leave information in our homes for after we're gone that explain all these things to people left behind so that they don't make the wrong decisions at the right time. And then the article I was talking about that I found that just resurfaced God bringing things to my attention it's from August 2022. Tesla owner implants car keys in his hands. The Tesla owner Brand Brandon Delaley shared a video on social media showing him having a chip implanted in his right hand and using the device to unlock his vehicle. I now use my key when my Bluetooth key fails or I don't have my key card. He said, you just use your hand. And note he said right hand, because the Bible says right hand or forward. The bizarre stunt is made possible by a chip called a Vivo Key Apex, which uses NFC technology, near field communication. The same tap to pay feature that's in Apple Pay and on iPhones. Delaney said he's part of a beta group of about 100 people who are testing the chips before they release to the public. Now that was 2022. We're in 2024, so that rollout's taking place good and well. The company that put this together literally has its own app store where you can wirelessly install apps into your body with these chips. This is the internet of 
people. They had the internet of things and all these other buzzwords. This is the internet of people. The connection, the coming together of man and machine. Iron and clay mixing that will be seemingly stronger and better, but so much weaker. The Tesla key card was one of the apps that you can install if you have a Tesla. In the video, he rubs his hand against the vehicle for a moment and it opens and he's got full access to everything. Now, my thing here that just made me come back to this article of 2022 and made my mind go is Elon Musk, the, the bad boy that everybody wants to love, that's seemingly fighting for mankind's free speech and aligned with Trump and everything that the large group of people want to see. He's pandering and playing to, and I'm saying that that's my opinion of him. He has shown many times his darkness. He's shown with his Halloween costumes where he's aligned and standing. He's shown many times who he really is. And people still think, good guy, great guy, fighting for freedom of speech. Elon Musk is running ahead with a mark in the right hand that you can activate your Tesla with. He's rolling out his Optimus robots that will be in all your homes in 2026. He's doing the Starlink satellite system that's blanketing the world that can be used for high speed internet and control and communications, which will work with AI. He's trying to build the world's most powerful AI and has already achieved putting together the most chips that all work together to power said AI. So he's doing all these things. He's busy with those things constantly. He's got the chip process hands down for the right hand and he's got Neuralink for putting something in your brain and he's pushing all of them as big wins. Now, the interesting thing is all these things tie into final revelation end times prophecy and it's all wrapped around this man that's actively busy working on all these things. Find that coincidental. Seems like a nice guy. Keep your eyes wide open. Things are happening fast now and you need to realize who's who on the chessboard for the final game. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.